Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I am currently holding my camcorder, so like you might see some shaking and it's going to look a little bit weird. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Today's video is going to be an eyeshadow palette declutter because I have accumulated quite a few and it's time to declutter. Goal is to get rid of at least 15, but we will see how that goes and let's get to it. So... This is my like collection. I went out and bought some more today, so that didn't really help the situation. But I did buy these from the container store last weekend, or the two weekends before that. This is going to be for my small palettes, and this one's going to be for my bigger palettes. But let's go ahead and get to it. Um, the goal is 15 to get rid of, and we're going to see how much we can get through. Let's just go ahead and start. This is from Beauty Creations. Also, apologize for the lighting. I wanted to do this like with some sunlight out. Not possible, so we'll just get we'll just work with it. All right. And if you see this mess, I tried to film this video earlier in the week, and it got messy from one of my newer palettes. So, yay! Anyway, we're moving on. This is from Winky Lux. Let me make sure that we are fully there. We go. This is from Winky Lux. If you have seen my previous declutter video, you will recognize this one and you will think, didn't you declutter that one? I was going to, but the packaging just kind of drew me back in and I kept it. But to be honest, and this is a kitten palette by the way, to be perfectly honest, the only shadow, if this will open, any minute now. Also, this is going to be kind of a long video, just to let you guys know, so grab some snacks, uh, popcorn, because apparently even opening this palette will take me 10 minutes. There we go. The only one that I really like from this palette is this like gold one right here where my thumb is kind of looking at. Everything else I don't really like. I've swatched some of them and the swatch didn't come out right. And I know that swatching is different than actually applying it to your eyes. But I don't really use this one. Like I said, I only really like it for this one. And I don't think I should hold on to this palette just for one shade, I don't, or the packaging by itself. So that one's being decluttered. We'll put that one to the side. This one is one of the ones that I just purchased today. This is the Makeup Revolution London. So, I don't know how to pronounce this. Is this Sofix? Sof, and then the X. It's the Extra Spice one. I've been wanting this palette for a while, and I finally saw it in Ulta back in stock. So I went ahead and grabbed that one, so I'm obviously keeping this one. We'll put that one right over there. Uh, next up is from Wet n Wild. This is part of their, like, not the uh, signs, but like the elements. This is the Earth one. Haven't used this one with a lot of these palettes that are going to be brand new. Um, so, yeah. I haven't used it, but I like the colors in here. So this is going in my Yes pile, which is over there. I huh, almost put it in the wrong this is from Colourpop. This is the She Palette from Femme Rosa, the Karachi, Karachi, and Colourpop one. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, I have used it quite a bit. I've used at least this color quite a bit. I'm doing this in Project Pan, so I'm keeping this one uh, for the time being. And so this is just really pretty. So that goes there. This is Colourpop as well. These are more of my single shadows that I need to work through and kind of use to see which ones I'll actually keep. So I'm not getting rid of this one. This is from Beauty Creations. This is the Tease Me one. I thought I was going to get rid of this, but the more I looked at it, the more I realized I didn't really have these colors or a lot of these shades in a lot of palettes. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. At first I thought it looked really similar to the Huda Beauty Nude palette but when I looked at the nude one I realized there are a lot of colors in here that the nude one doesn't have so keeping that one this is from Makeup Revolution as well this is the Mermaids Forever one and let's open this one up I'm scared to open palettes since the last time I like basically dug my nail this is what it looks like pretty colors I don't know. I've never, like, this is one that I haven't used either. So this is going in the maybes pile because I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these shades. Um, so we'll see. 
And I don't think I have a maybe pile created yet. So I'm going to put that over here. Let's just make it right here. All right, this is from Urban Decay. It's the Kristen Leanne palette. I like the colors in here. I know that the, like, how it's not formulated, formatted isn't the greatest because you've got odds and ends. You've got some square ones. You've got some circular pans. Um, so I know that this one is, like, really nice in terms of format, but I think the colors in here will look really nice. I'm excited to use Tahin. Um, I put it out in my beauty counter for January. I just didn't get a chance to use it, but I do want to use this one because, yeah. And also, I think the packaging for this is pretty, and then the general packaging itself is pretty in and of itself, so I'm keeping this one. This is another one from ColourPop. It is the Perception Shayla ColourPop one. I really like this palette. I've used it once. Um, but I really like it. I like the colors in here and also I just like the feeling of this eyeshadow palette in general Like it just feels really nice and if you open it, this is what it looks like. It's got some nice Neutral colors in there, but it also has some more colorful things in there Which I really like that orange right there. I really like that one So that's keeping so obviously I'm not doing too well right now in terms of decluttering so this I just bought today too. This is the new ColourPop Villains Misunderstood Eyeshadow Palette. I, when I went to Ulta earlier today, I saw this one and I like immediately picked it up. There were only two left. So, also I just like the packaging of this one. Like it's just so vibrant and pretty. And if you open it up, it has some gorgeous colors in here. Like I'm excited for the purple. Forest of Thorns for Diablo. I'm excited for Jet Sam and Faith Fassel and Sing. There are a lot of colors in here that I am really looking forward to using. So definitely keeping because I just bought that one. This is the Alamad Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. This is Reina del Caribe Volume 1. I know that they're going to come out with Volume 2. I don't know if they've already come out. Okay. Came out? If they've already come out with that? Came out? I don't know. This is what it looks like. The Varadero eyeshadow is really beautiful. The mattes in here, they're nice. I don't really use the mattes in this one all too often. I don't really use this, excuse me, palette in general all too often, but I do like it. I'm going to keep it here for another year, see if I use it, see how much I use it. This one is the one that I actually purchased right before I found out that it was coming in the BoxyCharm box. I was kind of upset that I actually purchased this because it literally came in my BoxyCharm the month after this brand launched. Was I think, which to be honest, I think is kind of shady in a way because you had a bunch of people like, well you didn't have a bunch of people, but you made it a really like kind of big deal in some social media outlets and had some people like YouTubers say, hey, like, you know, I recommend this, go buy this, support this, like, new brand, and then it comes out in the BoxyCharm, like, a month after launch. I kind of felt like that was kind of shady. But anyway, I digress. Apart from that, this is a really good palette. The palette that I did get in my BoxyCharm actually gave it to my cousin. Uh, we filmed a video kind of reviewing, kind of doing the first, first impressions of this one, and she really loved it, so I gave that to her. So this is staying for the time being. Oh, okay, that kind of fell apart there. What is this? I don't know what that is. I apologize. Um, this is the one of one of the other Wet n Wild ones. This is the water one. It's got really pretty blues in here, and then it's got some more like brownish colors in here. Oh, and it's got a silver. I didn't realize it had a, a silver. Keeping this one for the moment. Um, this is from Flirt. This is from the Coles Company. That was supposed, um, or that had been for Kohl's, but they discontinued this. I'm not sure why, um, but I, did, I didn't even buy it at Kohl's, to be honest. I bought it at, like, a makeup store that sells things that no longer are, like, available anywhere else. So these are the colors. I don't know if this counts as a palette to, like, really declutter, so I'm going to think about this one and see if I can count it. I am not doing well in terms of decluttering. Man, this sucks. Okay, 
This is another Wet n Wild one. This is the Air one. This is the one that I'm kind of debating decluttering because when I look at it, it looks nice, but it's not any colors that really draw me in, to be perfectly honest. I think I purchased this one more just to have the complete set, but I don't need to have the complete set if I'm not using all of it. So this is going in the maybes. This is from ColourPop. This is the Sol palette. Let me open it up here. This is what it looks like. I didn't really want this palette. I purchased it mainly to get the Mad palette because if you bought them together, it was a little bit cheaper. Um, but when I once I opened it and I saw this orange one right here, I thought it was really pretty and something that I could potentially use. So this I'm putting in the maybe pile as well just because I'm not 100% sure that I want to get rid of this one completely. Because when you look at it, it does have some like pretty nice orangey tones. So that's going in the maybe. This is another one from ColourPop. I have a lot of ColourPop as you can tell. And this is the My Little Pony one. This one's no longer available. This is one of the ones that I forgot to just take out of the packaging for the time being. This is what it looks like. I think it's really cute. I am not a My Little Pony like fan per se. I don't really do My Little Pony, nor did I watch it as a kid or have any like strong memories with it growing up. But I do love the colors on here or in here. I haven't used it. Oh no, what happened? Oh, it got dent like that white one got dented. That's what happened. Oh. Okay, not too bad, but I do like the colors in here. I like that blue, that purple right here. I like these colors, that silver one looking. So I need to put this in my beauty counter in my bathroom so I can test this out. Use it and see if it's something that I would really love to keep. So that's staying. Um, let's see here, what else do we have? We have the Violet Voss Fruit Sorbet, which I purchased last year, not too long ago. So, or last year or like this year? Anyways, but this is what it looks like. The colors in here look amazing. Haven't tried it out yet, so this is another one that I'm keeping to try out, test out. And also, for the timing, it's like the only Violet Loss one that I have, so. Like I said earlier, I just have a lot that I haven't really used. So, this is from NYX. This is the Ultimate uh, eyeshadow palette. As you can see, it's got a lot of colors. Um, it's brand new. I haven't used this one yet. I want to use this, but for whatever reason, I just never reach for it. So this is going in the maybe pile. Oh, this is my fire one from Wet n Wild. Um, I like this palette. I like, the thing that I like about these is that it has a, like, good range in here and it's easy to travel with. So if you're going, like, traveling out of the state or like just for travel in general and you want to take something that's simple and quick with you these are really good for that all right this is a new one that my husband just bought me recently this is the la girl wonder plus lust eyeshadow palette this is the one that i like got this bad messy with and i'm so like i'm kind of there we go as you can see, I put a big dent in one of the pans here, but this is what it looks like. I think it looks really pretty. I like that there are not a lot of, like, really nude shades in here. Like, those are the only three that are kind of nude. But these colors look beautiful. I can't wait to test this out, play with it, see if I like it, see if I like the formula. So keeping that one. Okay. I'm going to need to do some serious, like, ponderings because I'm not getting rid of anything. I apologize. Because if there's one thing that annoys me is when somebody says declutter, but they don't declutter anything, and this is what this is becoming. So, those maybes, we're going to take really hard looks at them. Okay, this is from ColourPop as well. This one I got for free when I made, like, a purchase. I don't remember the exact amount that you had to buy to get this for free, but I got this for free. Haven't used it, but I think that silver is gorgeous. I've seen it swatched. Looks amazing. And the bottom three here look really pretty, so I'm keeping this. I do think that the price point for this one is way too extreme for what it is. I think this one's $12. To be honest, I don't think it should have been $12. Um, okay, this is from Urban Decay. This is the Moon Dust Palette. I wanted this one for so long, but as you can see, I have not touched this. And I actually purchased this on sale at Sephora. 
I think it's pretty. I think it could be pretty. I haven't touched it though and I feel like it's been in my collection too long for me to just not test it. Like I, I don't think I can justify this anymore. So this one as much as I think it's gorgeous it's being decluttered. Oh this was a maybe so we'll put it there. This is another ColourPop one. This is one of the like build your own eyeshadow palettes. I purchased quite a few here so I'm going to keep this because I haven't messed with any of them. I have swatched them. I plan to at some point um, put these swatches up on my website but I haven't done so as of this moment so keeping this. Let's see here. This is the BH Cosmetics Wild and Alluring palette. It's really pretty. It's something different that you don't see every day, I don't think, in terms of the pants. This is a, a blush and that's a bronzer, but these are just really gorgeous. They don't, I've got the plastic on it, so. That yellow, orangey one looks really nice. Um, so, this though, I don't use it often enough though, so this is going in the maybe pile for the time being. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the Electric Obsessions one. I'm not getting rid of this one. A, because I haven't used it. B, because this is something that my mom purchased for me for Christmas. And um, I know it was really hard to find. So I really appreciate that she did that. And I am going to keep this. This is the Urban Decay Electric Palette, which I will be keeping as well. Because I this was a bit hard to find. I had seen this at Sephora and I was like, I don't think that this would be something that works and then my friends like told me about it she showed me some looks that she did with it and I was like all right gotta go buy it when I went there it wasn't there and it wasn't online anymore but I found this out in works from rack ended up buying two if you've seen my previous videos you know that I did a giveaway with an urban decay electric that's the second one that I had purchased and I was like there's no point in keeping two like two of them when I don't really use this one to begin with so but keeping it I love it I just I need to be a little bit bold sometimes and really embrace these colors okay we're not doing well at all I have two on my like declutter this is from Colourpop this is a yes please one this is what I'm keeping <laughs> I'm keeping this one because I really like it it's really pretty Um, it's really it like looks really dirty but to be honest I don't use this one that often it's just when I try to clean it up it got worse so this is the Colourpop fortune palette I didn't think I was gonna like this but I actually really enjoy it it's lit, like warm neutrals like warm nudes and stuff but I like that because whenever I just feel like being like kind of lazy and I just want a little bit of color to make my eyes like appear a little bit more bright or like more awake I will use I think I tend to use wiser this one right here I'll just pop that on my lids and I'll be good to go um, but I do like the colors at the bottom too I think they're really pretty so keeping this one I wouldn't get fame because I just think that that's too cool for me in terms of the tone this is the Too Faced best year ever this is the 2017 palette and while it has some nice shades in here I don't like the highlight like I don't like this bottom row right here and to be honest I think I only really like two colors and that is unwrap me and sleigh bells and I don't think like this top row I don't really touch at all um, just because they're like more brown ish colors that I just don't really use so I don't think I can justify keeping this one anymore because and that and when I put it in my beauty counter for January I didn't reach for this one like once so this one's getting decluttered this is the Urban Decay Elements palette this was from last year I th it's limited edition this is what it looks like I have used a uh, Ego right here and that's really pretty. I try to use Saf Sapphire Dream but it ended up not working for me. There was extreme fallout everywhere on my face. I had to wipe it off because I just I couldn't go to work um, with Sapphire Dream. It just didn't work out but I'm keeping this. My husband bought this one for me and I really want to play with more of the shadows. So okay, this is the Colourpop Mar Palette. I don't know why I said it like that. 
um, but the middle blue one is really pretty. I've used it a couple times and I really love it. I get compliments whenever I wear this one. So I'm keeping this one. Okay, this is the Flirt eyeshadow palette. This is another one from the Kohl's brand. Uh, I haven't used this one yet, but I these are more shimmery, and I really want to use the shimmers in here. So when I swatched them, they swatched beautifully. So I'm hoping the same applies when it's done to the face. Because I'm keeping this one, I don't think I'm going to keep the Profusion shimmers one. So this is going in the Maybe palette. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the Ruby one, the Ruby Obsessions. I haven't used this one yet, but I want to try it, so I'm keeping that one. This is from Beauty Creations. It's the Cali Chick one. I have, I think I have some of these colors um, and other eyeshadow palettes. So this one I am decluttering just because I think, I feel like I have a lot of this kind of going on. So that is going bye bye. And anything that I declutter, if it's brand new, I think I'm going to take it to work and show it and like have some co-workers look through them if they are used i'm going to give them to family because it's like more of a comfort thing i guess knowing that you know i don't know like i feel like family isn't as how do i say it i don't want to say picky but like i don't know anyways this is the gingerbread spice from Too faced I have used this palette a couple times. This one was also last year's like limited edition one, I think. Yeah, no, it has to be limited edition because I don't think I've seen this anymore. Um, but I really want to try Gumdrop, which is a, this pink one right here. As you can see, I've already tried Gingerbread. Um, I like it. It smells... The thing is that for me, this doesn't smell like Gingerbread. This to me smells like Play-Doh, like straight up Play-Doh. So I'm not a super big fan of the smell, but I do like the colors in here. Keeping that. I'm getting rid of my Element of Surprise palette from ColourPop because when this is one of the ones that I've had in my beauty counter for this month. Every month I'm taking three eyeshadow palettes and putting it on my beauty counter, which I plan to film a video of that soon. And this is the one that I haven't reached for at all, and I've looked at it, looked at it. I just can't justify keeping this one. I can't justify keeping it for that pink one either, so this one's going. This I just got today. This is the Pacifica Moonflower one. Um, it looks really pretty, and this is one that my husband actually bought for me, so I'm keeping this one. This is the Masquerade by Juvia's. This is so pretty. Like, super duper pretty. The thing with this one is, it's so big. Like, the pan size is so big. I don't think I'm ever going to, like, hit pan on any of these. I don't use it this often. I like that it has colors up top. More, like, neutral shades at the bottom. So, I'm decluttering this one. But I did... I am replacing it with the mini palette. Like, look at that. It is such a shade difference. And I think I will enjoy this one more because it's smaller pans I won't like I don't know this one as much as I like it like it's really good I just the pan size I think gives me anxiety so I went out and switched it for the mini one because I'm weird that way this is the beauty creation scala set this is what it looks like I'm keeping this one because I don't think I have these colors a whole lot so this one I'm keeping this is the ColourPop Kathleen Lights Dream Street palettes, and to be perfectly honest, I am going to declutter this one. I've never used it. That's the thing. I've never used it. But the more I look at the, this palette, the more I see shades in here that I don't think I'm going to use, and the more I see shades that I feel like are in other eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. To be perfectly honest, no shade being thrown here. Like, I don't want people to think that. None at all. But I just, I don't. I've had this since the release of Dream Street, and I haven't picked, I haven't used it, like, at all. So this one I'm decluttering. Okay, this is the Wet n Wild, um, what is this? Nope, put it, ro Rosé in the air. Uh, haven't used this one, as you can see, but I think this one would be perfect for travel. I'm keeping this in my baby maybes, just to kind of see... Because I don't know if this is limited edition or, or not. I don't think it is, but this is the t t 
toasted palette. I wanted to say the Tartlet, but it's not the Tartlet. It's the toasted palette from Tarte. Um, this one I waited quite a few months to get. Really pretty colors in here. A lot of like neutral shades, but I do like the like. What is it called? Flame. I like flame. And I feel like this would also be a good travel one because of the more neutral shades right here. I could just take that with me and be good to go and also create some looks with this side. So I'm keeping this one. This one's from Beauty Gems. I have never tried this brand. Um, I just saw the the like colors in here and the the look of this one and it intrigued me. I picked this up at Ulta a while ago. If I can get this open, that would be so fantastic. Don't know why it won't open. It's open before. I'm about to give up. Like I'm seriously about to give up. Cause I don't know how many other words. Oh, there we go. Um, we can put that aside. Cause I'm not going to use that anyway. But this is what it looks like. I think it has some really interesting like colors in here. I think the eyeshadow like pans in general look very interesting. So keeping this one to try out. This is the City Color Hypnotic Palette. I got this on Hush. I think this was like 10 bucks. And this is what it looks like. If I can just pop it up. This is what it looks like. Haven't tried it yet. I want to try this one. I really do. I think the pineapple one is going to be really beautiful. So I'm keeping this one. This is another Huda one. The Amethyst Obsessions one that I have here. This has actually been my favorite for this month. Um, I like that it's all purples. And I just really like these colors. And this is the Kathleen Lights Zodiac Palette. I've used this once. Um, it's okay. I have to use this one more though because there were, like, I tried to use it at one time and it didn't work. And I don't know if it's because I wet it and it, it didn't work that way or what I did wrong. So this one I'm keeping to kind of put it in my beauty counter and test it out. So, or at least test it out a little bit more. Final two, you guys. So this is from ColourPop, the Give It To Me Straight. I bought it on sale because I thought it would be perfect for gifts, but then I saw the inside and I was like, you know what, this actually looks kind of pretty, so I'm keeping it. But, like, you know, I want, I want to keep this, I want to use this. I know I said that I don't, like, do a lot of these colors, but I like this one for that purpose because it's tiny enough that I can use it up, well, not use it up, but that I can use it, test it, see if I'm really going to like this one. I don't know. I feel like I've been going back and forth a lot in this video. I'm sorry, guys. This is from Blackheart and Hot Topic. This is the Astronomical Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. I like the theme of this. I like some of the colors in here. Um, I've never used it, though. I don't ever reach for it when I see it. I just look at it, and I think, oh, that's a pretty palette, but I, like, never touch it. So it's going in the declutter. So let's see here. That's one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's go to here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That would technically be 15. Um, I don't think I can, like, count this as an eyeshadow palette, though. So that's going there. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter all of these because while I like this palette, I don't use it that often. Um, and I could, I feel like if I really, really miss this one, well, actually, if I miss any of these, I feel like I could easily repurchase them except for maybe this one. This one I haven't seen since I picked it up. So... I'm gonna keep it. So I'm one less than what I said, but I think I did pretty okay. At the end of it, it took a while to get there, but I think I did pretty okay. And I feel like I could repurchase all of these at some point. So there's that one. Getting rid of my Profusion Shimmers, my Wet n Wilds, my ColourPop Sol, because I can't justify keeping it for one eyeshadow palette. Or one eyeshadow. Wow, one eyeshadow palette. One eyeshadow. Alone. 
I don't know. I feel like I could get rid of the give me give it to me straight one and keep this one though. something else because now that I look at it I see these oranges and they like they call my name but when I see this this also calls my name this says like Brie try this if you try it you probably won't regret it um and the thing is I've like <laughs> sincerely like everything that I have here is stuff that I really actually want to keep which stinks so yeah no I can repurchase this if I really ever miss it I can repurchase it so that's going this is going and then this one's going because I saw some of these still at Walmart so it might still be available there okay so I ended up I'm going to end up getting rid of one two three four five Six, seven, though not technically, but we'll count it. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so one less, but I think that's still pretty good. Like, these are ones that I, I will be okay letting go of. These are ones... A lot of them because they're new that I still want to play with and really see if I'm going to end up keeping them. So, yep. Alright guys, that completes this video. I'm going to do some, like, organizing and putting some smaller ones in here, some bigger ones in here. Here's, like, all of the packaging for all of them. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.